Manny, really quick, how, how are how you feeling about Spence dropping out? How you feel? Uh, you disappointed? I feel okay, but uh, you know, I'm praying for him for uh, his fast recovery. Um, I'm tested. This is um, the most important thing: is the health uh, right. of uh, individuals and. And uh, I work hard for this uh, training camp. Uh, I trained like uh, when I was young. I'm so excited, but uh, good thing that uh, Ugas the, uh, is the undercard and uh, it's happening that way. So um, my my work hard in training and hard work in training is not wasted. Right. Um, because there's Ugas, I can still uh, uh, prove uh, my my skill in in, in the ring. Right. This August 21. What's good family? So mash the like button and subscribe. So we just heard there from Manny, the young lion slayer, Pacquiao, reacting to Errol, fake eye, Spence, Errol, <laughs> Errol the fake, Spence. Yeah, but Errol the truth. What do you, what do you know about truth? Oh, mean, iron sharpens iron. Where was the iron sharpening your eye? Your fake eye injury that you didn't have. You fake oh wait there, my eye was so bad, no red of a lie, yeah. I know we're gonna I know who today's video is about Manny Pacquiao's reaction, but I just can't I must I must emphasize this point here. They want us to believe, Errol Spence fans and Errol Spence PBC want us to believe, yeah, that Errol Spence's eye injury was so bad that it needed to be operated on immediately, but that he didn't notice it. Oh, the doctor's found it and the fight must be cancelled. Let's not forget that. I've done research. I've got more videos coming soon, but I'll keep it brief for now. I've done research. Yeah, a retina tear is two to four weeks to repair. Oops. And that's for standard average Joes, couch potatoes, not elite athletes. If couch potatoes and old people can repair in two to four weeks, why wasn't this fight re scheduled oops i'll tell you why spence don't want it full stop how about that he didn't want a postponement he wanted you know what pacquiao gonna retire <laughs> that's what he wants and then and after pacquiao's retired he can say oh man you know he he didn't want it and you know i'm i'm errol spence and uh, you know iron sharpens iron that's what he wants to do he wants pacquiao to retire so he can come back because listen let's get to today's video we heard there Manny Pac Manny, the young lion slayer Pacquiao, his reaction to Errol Spence's fake injury and essential pullout and cancellation of the fight. And I'm not, I'm not kidding you, yeah. This reaction, we know Pacquiao isn't a big talker. Pacquiao's never been a SHIT talker. He's always been quite reserved. So when you analyse Pacquiao's behaviour, yeah, he's not going to come out and start be shouting. He's extremely humble and he's always been quiet. But what you can notice... You've got in personalities, yeah, you've got extroverts and introverts. I'd say, obviously, Pacquiao's more of an introvert. You've got people like Mayweather, Big Mouth, love to talk. He's the opposite of Pacquiao. But what you can notice in introverts, obviously, is can you feel the, sin the sincerity in, the, in Pacquiao's voice? The sincerity of his disappointment. Extremely sincere disappointedness. Yeah? Pacquiao extremely disappointed. You can just hear it. It takes him almost. He has to collect himself. When the man says to him, "How do you feel about Errol Spence faking his injury and pulling out because he don't want no smoke with you?" Pacquiao says he pauses. It's almost like, obviously not, but it's almost like when someone loses a child or something or loses a parent. It it, it takes their breath away or it, it makes them. You don't have to probably collect their thoughts. And like I said, I'm not saying obviously it's not it's not as extreme as losing a, a family member, but you know what I'm saying. You can proper tell. Pacquiao is, is this is this is this is eating up Pacquiao inside. Why? Well, he gives us an insight as to why. He tells you this training camp. I was fighting like I was when I was young, and I I kid you not, I'm not a shill. I don't lie for no one. I don't lie for Errol Spence. I don't lie for T Tyson Fury. I call it what it is, and genuinely, those were my thoughts exactly. And that's what you've heard my videos. Go and check my channel out. I've been covering the Pacquiao and Spence build up. And what did I tell you? I told you Spence probably going to pull out. He don't like Pacquiao's looking dangerous in in training. Seriously, I've got more videos coming soon. Yeah, I'm going to show you man some videos, some exclusive leak camp footage. Pacquiao was 
knocking dudes out. Extremely ferocious. And from what I'm hearing now, part of the reason Errol Spence's eye got injured was watching the sheer speed, the way Pacquiao, yeah, <laughs> the way Pacquiao was so explosive in some of his training footage, it caused some of the videos to flash in a particular way, which obviously Errol Spence, it, it, it caused some sort of epilepsy in Errol Spence's eye, and it's basically torn Pacquiao too quick. Yeah, and Errol Spence was that anxious and that scary over Manny Pacquiao. He was studying the footage for so long, and after a while, Pacquiao being so sharp and quick, it cut his eye up, 100%. Yeah? That there, that injury Errol Spence alleges he has, is what you call, what's that word? Essentially, it's a repetitive strain injury. Because he kept, listen, he kept watching them, he, he kept watching Pacquiao training. Yeah? Too quick. Spence couldn't track it. Spence, Spence was thinking to himself, wait a minute, if my eyes can't keep up, watching Pacquiao video footage, how the F am I going to keep up with Pacquiao actually in the ring? <laughs> Oops. And at that point, he was out of there. No thanks. I can't even analyse what he's doing. Never mind actually fight the man. Spencer's out of there. He's gone. He don't want no parts of Manny Pacquiao. Not even a little bit of, not even a bit of Pacquiao does he want. He wants none. That's why he's gone. And it's all adding up. As I mentioned in my last video, it's all making perfect sense now. Why? Errol Spence was giving it the, all the Crawford talk. In the last week, we've all seen the videos of Errol Spence saying, oh, I love Crawford all of a sudden. This man's had nothing good to say about Crawford. Why is he talking about Crawford? To kind of to soften the blow. He knew he was going to pull out. So he thought, you know what, I better give the fans something. Oh, let's give the fans some hope the Crawford fight can happen. Bottom line. And this for me, I'm, it frustrates me. I'm as frustrated, or not as frustrated, but I'm not far off as frustrated as Pacquiao is. This video here truly showed me how much this hurt Pacquiao. Why? Pacquiao was begging to split Errol Spence's cheeks. And if he, in fact, I was about to say if he disagree, there is no disagreeing. Watch the video yourself. You can hear from Pacquiao. Pacquiao extremely sincere. He was begging. He was rock hard for Errol Spence. And Spence knows it. Spence didn't want that. Do you know what Spence thought? Spence thought, oh, look. Manny Pacquiao. A big name. A massive name. He's old. You know what? I'll get a piece of that. I think I'll get a piece of the Pacquiao who thought, what's that man's name? Was it Jeff Horn? Or whatever. I think it's one of them ones. Yeah. You know what? I think I'll fight the Pacquiao who... Fought Jeff Horn. Yeah, yeah. I'll get a piece of that. That sounds good. Yeah, I'll get a piece of the Jeff Horn Pacquiao. That's what he was thinking. Errol Spence thought he was getting the Jeff Horn Pacquiao. Oops. It turns out Pacquiao, like he said in the start of this video, Pacquiao was training just like he was young. And that's why even Pacquiao himself... Pacquiao's not perfect, he's human. And even Pacquiao himself knows that he's gone into fights and not prepared like he did this time. I like, for, how many times have we seen Pacquiao prepare? I've never heard him, in the last five, five, three, four, five years, I've never heard him actually say, I was training like I was when I was young. He genuinely sounds shocked at how well he's been training. Or he genuinely sounds like, yeah man, I was seriously doing stuff. That I haven't done in 20 years. And I believe him. Because number one I've seen the footage. And number two it all makes sense. Because Errol Spence didn't pull out for nothing did he? Let's call a spade a spade here. Errol Spence had no problem fighting people like Sean Porter. This was the first time really Errol Spence has pulled out. Kell Brook he fought. And that's another thing. Talking about Kell Brook. What do we know about Kell Brook? Errol Spence fans. They all laugh about Kell Brook. Guess what? Kell Brook turned up. Kell Brook was injured and turned up nonetheless. And Kell Brook went up a weight. Got bashed in an actual fight, not pulling out before the fight. Yeah, like you. Errol Spence, you pulled out before the fight. Kell Brook went in there, got beat up by a man two weight divisions above. Guess what, Spence? And now, and now it's all kind of making sense. Why you didn't want no problems with Canelo Alvarez? Well, who were we kidding? Let's not forget that. For a long time, all the PBC fangirls, all the Errol Spence fangirls were saying, Oh, man, you know, Errol Spence, he gone, he gone do this to... Can Canelo Alvarez, he ain't gonna do ish. He can't even he can't even handle 
Manny Pacquiao at 45 years old. Manny Pacquiao got Errol Spence super scary. Got him retired. It's funny. Literally two days ago, Errol Spence put a video out saying, Ah, oh, I'm going to send Pacquiao into retirement. <laughs> Oops. Pacquiao, Pacquiao's retired you. He's retired your eyesight. Yeah? Pacquiao's just too quick for you. T tore your eyes up trying to follow him. That's what happened, you see, Spence. Pacquiao was too quick, and your eyes got all twisted up trying to follow what he was doing. And that's the problem. We know for a fact a lot of camps, they watch training footage. That was your undoing. Because you tried to watch Pacquiao's training footage and your eyes got all twisted up. Cross eye looking. And I even said this a few days ago. A few days ago I said that Errol Spence's eyes are looking a bit crossed. Now we know why they was looking crossed. Because he was spending all day. He was so stressed and scary. He was spending all day trying to analyse Pacquiao. Trying to get some sort of edge. Next thing you know, his eyes get too crossed and, they, and it's torn up. Simple as that. What, what we do know is, Spence is lucky. Because yes, his eyes torn up. But... At least it's not his booty, because you best believe. And that's what, I've, and that from what I'm hearing from Spence Camp, I've got some individuals close to Errol Spence, and they've told me that essentially, PBC and Errol Spence decided to kind of cut their losses off whilst they're down. They thought, you know what? Yes, we're going to lose a massive pay-per-view show, but it's better for us to quit now with just an eye tear before we end up with Errol Spence's fresh 30 year old booty getting tore all the way up by Manny Pacquiao at 45 year old, 45 year old on, on pay per view that's what they don't want to that's what they didn't want to happen yeah it's bit much better for them Errol Spence essentially decided it's much better for us to go out now with an eye tear than it is to go out on international pay per view stage with our booty getting tore all the way up by Manny Pacquiao because you best believe that was going that's what was fixing to happen now, I'm not just saying this because guess what Unlike many other people, I was saying this before he pulled out. So don't tell, don't, don't, oh, you're bound wagon. No, I told you what was going to happen. And I even said, don't be shocked if Errol Spence don't turn up. I could just feel it. Pacquiao was looking too sharp. I mean, what happens when PBC fighters think something's, not, something's a bit too sharp for them? They out there. Yeah, they out there. No thanks. We're out, we gone. Do you think it's a coincidence? All the fights Errol Spence has had, and it's this this big one, he suddenly pulls out. Nope. He don't want it. Nothing to do with it. He don't want nothing to do with Pacquiao. And I said, yeah, I thought it, I thought at the time it would be a close fight. Now we know it wouldn't have been close because Pacquiao, Errol Spence was broken mentally. And I find it laughable that his, his, eye, inju his eye injury, we know how, I've said this before, but we know how sensitive, the eyes are the most sensitive the an organ, whatever they are, the eyes are the most sensitive organ in the body. And you're telling me your eyes were that messed up that you didn't notice yourself. And it took the, come on now, a week before. So wait there, wait there, you, your eyes were so bad for the whole camp. So you wait there, you were sparring. So, then, so, so the very eyes, we know for a fact, when it comes to humans, the eyes are the most important part of the body, full stop. If you can't see, <laughs> it's, it's game over. In most things in life. So wait there. The most relied upon organ in the body. You were using. From weeks on end. With no, And you didn't notice nothing. But then. You go into a doctor's check. And they noticed it for you. Explain that to me please. How does that make no sense? And I've looked it up. What are the symptoms of a torn retina? And there's nothing on there that says you won't notice it. How about that? There ain't no... When you look up the symptoms of retina damage, there's nothing that says, oh, you can probably not notice nothing. Of course you, of course you are going to. Yeah? Spence, come out and be honest. What you need to do is, we've just seen the Pacquiao and Yuga's press conference. What needs to happen now is, Spence needs to have his own press conference. And that's another point, actually, just quickly. Spence best show us some evidence. That's another thing. You best, you best stream or show pictures of your scans. You best stream you at the hospital. You best do. You, listen. You best be producing all the, all the. You best be producing all the proof. Otherwise, well, not otherwise. I'm telling you now, it didn't happen. I don't believe it. And the only way I'm going to come around is if I see some proof. For me, it's lies until proven otherwise. Because there's too many lies in boxing, and there's not enough proof. That's the other thing. Way too many lies and not a little bit of proof. The last person to prove anything was fair play to him, Kell Brook. He came out and put the papers out. Everyone else, just be talking. Just be sympathy pushers. No proof. 
So until I see some proof, it didn't happen. And that's what, uh, that's what I find suspect about all these people, yeah? Why do they never lead with the proof? Why didn't Spence come out and say, Boom, here's my scans, retina torn. Why is it always, oh, I'm pulled out. No postponement, full cancellation, no, no rematch date, I'm out of here. Uh? But Spence only tests two to four weeks for recovery. Why haven't you rebooked it for December? Uh, oops, <laughs> oops. So what, what is this? Is it, oh, Spence saying, oh, I really wanted this fight. I was really looking forward to it. Well, you weren't looking forward to it that much because you could have rescheduled the fight, innit? If, you, if I was really looking forward to something, I'd reschedule it, wouldn't you? Especially when it only takes two to four weeks to recover. <laughs> Oops. What you mean to say is you bit off more than you can chew and you want to go back to fighting fixed fights against washed up PBC fighters who are washed, like Danny Garcia, no offence. But he, Danny Garcia's already admitted he's a PBC head. Yeah, he does what Al tells him to do. If Al tells him to go in there and stand still for 11 rounds and do nothing, that's what he'll do. And that's what he did. Danny Garcia went in there, much like Mikey Garcia, and just stood there. Yeah, no doubt, 100%. And then, and then, and then in the last round, in round 12, he actually started to fight. And guess what happened? Errol Spence got whooped. The minute he started throwing back. So we all know what's going on here. And from what I'm hearing as well, Manny Pacquiao refused to take a dive. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing initially, part of the game plan with PBC was, was that Pacquiao, this was going to be his last fight. And on, and therefore, PBC were going to essentially pay, pa in fact, I've got another video coming soon, but let me tell you, man, quickly now. Essentially, what from what I'm hearing, a behind a kind of cover-up's gone on where Pacquiao initially, this fight was signed on the pretense that Pacquiao would take a dive and... Passed the legacy on to Errol Spence. But then, Manny Pacquiao started performing really well in sparring and in training. And he then decided, you know what? I'm not going to do this. I'm going to get in that booty. I'm going to get, I'm going to tear his, I'm going to tear that dude ass up all the way up. At which point, obviously the rest is history now. And Spence thought, you know what? I don't want no parts of that. I'm out of here. Spence only wanted to fight Pacquiao on the basis that Pacquiao, everything was done before that he was going to dive on the floor. And or lose some other way, like Mark Garcia, like Danny Garcia. That's what he, that's what how this is supposed to go, by the way. Hundred percent. Spence thought that it was going to be another one of them ones where people just turn up to jump on the floor, or and or lose some other way. Pacquiao said, "No, nah, you know what? I fancy my chances against you." And obviously, that's what fell apart. That's what I'm fighting on now. But I'm going to do a video in that. I'm going to do a video exposing that in its own right. But either way, Pacquiao, we've heard his reaction, and I feel his pain. Yeah, I feel his pain because he was fixing to split Errol Spence's buns for him. Get all up in them tight little buns he's got. 100%. You can just hear it in Pacquiao's voice. He's distraught. You can't believe he ain't going to be nuzzled in them buns of Errol Spence's. And, and it's an absolute disgrace. And another thing i got coming soon, another video. I'm hearing the IBF and WBC are going to strip Errol Spence. Yeah? Strip Errol Spence. And they're going to make Manny Pacquiao the champion. Because guess what? He won. Bottom line. This fight, I don't care what no one said. This fight happened. This fight happened. And guess what? Spence lost. Because what we do know is for a fact. You man tell me. Who? Pacquiao's 45 year old. Spence is 30 prime. And in, in my opinion. Not in my opinion. The facts are. When a young. So called lion. Don't turn up to a fight against an old man. Essentially. Guess what? You lose. That's how it goes. Don't want to hear no more about it. If a young fighter don't turn up against an old man, you lose. That's a, that's an L. That's a big L. That's a. If that isn't if that isn't an L, what is an L? Yeah. Simple as that. I don't want to hear no more about it. Manny Pacquiao, whatever his record is, put another put another one on there. It was a. And by the way, it wasn't no. It wasn't no Floyd Mayweather twelve round thing. This was a KO victory. He knocked him out. What else would you call it? Not he knocked his eyes all crossed up. Yeah, Manny Pacquiao. It's not his fault. It's not Pacquiao's fault that Errol Spence's eyes got all twisted up trying to trying to follow his footage. Yeah, not his, <laughs> that's on Errol Spence and his team. Whatever way you look at it, Manny Pacquiao is the reason Errol Spence could not turn up to fight. He's been KO'd, no doubt.